Hi everyone! In the last two videos I showed you how to find existing content or create your own, how to save this content to lists and how to manipulate it from within the lists. Of course we now want to know how we can actually use this content and send it to our social media profiles. So there are two ways to send posts from Poster Downloads to your social sites. First is sending posts instantly and manually and second is sending posts automatically on a predefined schedule. Sending posts manually means sending them on the go. For example, I was just searching for some panda pictures and I found one which I want to post right now. So first I will click on the send now button in the post options and then I will select the site I want to send the post to. Clicking on send now opens the edit window where I can edit the post before publishing it. When I'm done with the edits, I will just click send and the post will instantly be published on my site. You can also use send now for posts that are already added to a list. The steps are the same. Click on send now and select the site that you're posting to. Then you can make further edits to the post if needed and finally send the post. Sending posts automatically requires two things. First, all posts in a list need to be scheduled, which means they need to be assigned a date and time of posting. And second, the scheduled list needs to be exported to a social site. When we created a list in the last video, the list showed up in the not ready status. This means that the list is not yet ready to be sent to a social media profile. And why is it not ready? It's because Postradamus doesn't know when we want the posts in the list to be published. So let's open our list and assign a date and time to the posts. If you don't have a lot of posts, you can schedule each one manually. You can do this by either clicking on each post and assigning a date and time in the scheduled time field, or by switching the list from the default gallery view to the calendar view. In the calendar view, all posts that are not yet scheduled appear at the top of the list. You can simply drag and drop a post to a date and time when you would like the post to be published. If you would like to reschedule a post, just drag and drop it to a different date or a different time, or click on the X button to unschedule it. The calendar view can be switched between a monthly view, a weekly view, and a daily view, which allows you to easily specify the date and time of publishing. You can also create specific schedules and apply them to all posts in the list. Predefined schedules can be saved and applied to other lists and posts as well. To create a predefined schedule, go to Settings, Schedules, and create a new one. Enter the name of the schedule, such as Facebook three times per day, or US midday, or any name that best describes this schedule to you. Now add the times that this schedule will apply to posts. You can add a time by clicking on the Add Time button. Enter the time of day when one post will be sent, and select the days of the week to apply the time to. You can also add times from the calendar by clicking on any of the days and times in it. To edit a time, click on it from the calendar to update or delete it, or simply drag and drop it to a different day and time. Think of these time boxes as placeholders. For example, if you want Postradamus to publish something to your profiles every Monday and Wednesday at 2 p.m., you will add this to your schedule. You'll add a 2 p.m. block on Monday and a 2 p.m. block on Wednesday. And when you then apply this schedule to a list of, let's say, 20 posts, Postradamus will send 10 of those posts every Monday at 2 p.m. and 10 of them every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Now that we have created a schedule, we just need to apply it to our posts, so we will go back to our list. In the list, click on Scheduler here in List Options. Select the date and time starting from which the schedule will be applied. I want to start sending my posts as soon as possible, so I will just leave it as it is. And then we'll select the schedule which we want to apply to the posts. After selecting the schedule, you can click on more options to randomize the time up to 20 minutes from your selected schedule. And you can also shuffle the order of your posts right before the schedule is actually applied to them. And finally, we can select which posts in the list will be scheduled. Selecting unscheduled posts will apply the schedule only to posts that are not yet scheduled at all. If you have already assigned some future dates and times to some of your posts, then you can select this checkbox scheduled in future to overwrite those existing schedules with your new schedules. 
And similarly, if you have already assigned dates and times that are in the past, you can select this checkbox to overwrite those times with the new schedule. And now we'll just run the scheduler. As you can see, all posts in my list now have a date and time assigned to them. And notice that the list is now moved to ready status. This, again, doesn't yet mean that the posts will start being published. It just means that we told Posterdamus when we want to send the post, so the list is, in theory, ready to go. But now we need to tell Posterdamus where we want to send the list. So the final step is to export the list. You can export the list to your Facebook profile pages or groups, to your Pinterest boards, your WordPress blog, your Twitter feed, your LinkedIn profile or company pages, to Instagram and Google+. I want to send my list to my Facebook page, so I'll select Facebook. And now I'll choose my scheduled list, I'll select the page I want the posts to go to, and I will click Schedule to Facebook. The list is now moved to the sending status, and it means that Postradamus knows when to send each post, and it also knows where to send it. Well, I also want to send this same list to my Twitter, so I'll go to Export again, and I'll select Twitter. I will just select my list again, and then click Schedule to Twitter. The list now shows that it's being sent to both my Facebook page and my Twitter. If I want to cancel sending the posts from this list to one of the sites that I previously selected, I will just click on the site in the To column, and then I will click Cancel Sending. And with this, we have gone through the most important steps in Postradamus, and you should now be fully equipped to start posting some awesome content to your sites.